Hi folks, Louie. And Candry. From We So Hardy. Uh Today we are going to do our first guide. Guide, I guess. Yeah, you can give it a shot. Don't yeah. be kind. Yeah. So everybody's favorite part of a new expansion is the good old rip grind. Yes. So today we're going to try to put together a brief overview of kind of the reputations in BFA, the awards that you can get from them uh, through reputation and ways to get that reputation up. And um, we will also put a link in the description where we got a lot of our information um, over at our friends at Wowhead. Mm -hmm. They have um, a really good guide too. Yep. All the footage is stuff that we did. We wanted to do it ourselves. But they have the information over there as well. Yep. So, getting straight into it, um, the Horde and the Lions both have four individual factions, um, as well as two neutral factions that we all share. Uh, the gear rewards are mirrored on both sides for the individual factions, as far as the cloaks and the armor and stuff. But the cosmetic rewards, like toys, taverns, mounts, are different. Yep. So you need to complete the quests either uniting Zand Zandalar for Horde or uniting Colteris for Alliance. Uh, that requires you to be at least friendly with your continent's three main factions. Uh, for Horde, those are the Zandalari, Talanji's M Expedition, and the Golden Eye. And for Alliance, it's the Proudmoor Admiralty, the Order of Embers, and Storm's Wake. Uh, this should not be a problem as long as you just quest through the zones. We were both uh, honored with all three of those just by doing the storyline quest through the zone. So uh, friendly shouldn't be any kind of a problem at all. Uh, we also recommend after you hit 120, if you're not done with that zone, the third zone that you're in, you should just complete it anyways because you're going to need that reputation for the Pathfinder achievement. So after that, your fourth uh, specific faction for your side, Order Alliance, is your War Campaign faction. That's something new to, to WoW. Um, the Honorbound is Horde, and the Seventh Legion is Alliance. Their world quests are going to be on the other side of the map. So uh, your Horde... It'll be, you'll have to go to Kulturis, and if you're Alliance, you're going to have to come over to Zandalar. Um, they're available once you complete the, the unite, yeah, the uniting, uniting uh, achievements. And as part, and the first part of your war campaign, by setting up three footholds on the other continent. And it's pretty simple breadcrumb quest. You'll get them from your, your uh, ships and your harbors. Both, both the same. <laughs> Everything's pretty mirrored. Um, doing the world quest for these factions is very important since your war campaign is gated behind rep gains. Um, and completing your war campaign is a requirement for Pathfinder. Once you have your world quests unlocked, we suggest always doing your emissary daily. The biggest change with emissaries in BFA over Legion is that rather than awarding a chest with random stuff in it, you can see exactly what your reward is going to be for that day, whether it's a nice piece of gear or a bonus reputation or Azerite power or war resources. So not only do you get that you also always get your 1500 reputation boost for that faction which is why we strongly suggest doing them we like to pri kind of prioritize which world quests we do first by looking for gear upgrades then bonus reputation war resources azurite power or gold um, our priorities will change from day to day once we have our emissary done then we'll scan through all the remaining world quests on the map and decide which ones we want to do. Some days we do a lot, some days we don't do very many. 
There are several World Quest tracking add-ons you can get that will show you what rewards are available at a single glance, or you can just kind of go old school like me and do it without the add-on. The two neutral factions are the Tortolan Seekers and the Champions of Agner. Azeroth, which is Magni's faction. These factions can have world quests in any zone on either continent. Keep your eye out for these ones for sure since they are harder reps to come by, especially the champions of Azeroth. Magni's quests will have you saving Azeroth in some form or another, whether it's recovering Azerite, using your heart of Azeroth to heal the planet's wounds, or killing enemies who are trying to harness the power of Azerite for evil purposes. When you reach friendly, honored, and revered with the champions, you will be able to upgrade your heart of Azeroth by 15 item levels, so be sure to go talk to Magni when you reach each new level. The Tortolans are essentially the Kirin Tor of BFA when it comes to world quests. Their world quests typically involve puzzles and stories because the Tortolans are really big on telling stories. You can help baby turtles cross a dangerous beach to the safety of the water, you can guide load the turtle through a maze, or you can play a memory matching game. You also only have to complete three world quests instead of four when the Tortolans are the emissary for the day. In addition to World Quest, you can gain rep with a faction in a few other ways. Inscription contracts give you 10 rep for the contracted faction per World Quest you complete. The contracts are consumed on use, but the effect persists through death and lasts until you con cancel the contract by clicking off the buff or entering into a new contract with another faction. We are contracted with champions right now because it's the hardest rep to gain. Missions available on your War Campaign mission table can offer you reputation tokens for the different factions. Make sure you take advantage of these missions as often as you can. Island Expeditions can also earn you rep with your War Campaign faction. Completing the weekly quest of collecting 40,000 Azerite from Island Expeditions will award you with 2,500 artifact power to your Heart of Azeroth as well as 1,500 rep with your War Campaign faction. Considering the island expeditions are stupid amounts of fun, I see no reason why you not do this. Each one takes about 10 minutes and you need about 7 a week to complete the quest. So let's break down what each faction offers as rep rewards. Every faction has an item level 320 cloak available at Honored. The stats vary from faction to faction. With the exception of the champions, every other faction has an armor option available for each armor type at Revered, an item level 335, and Exalted, an item level 355. Champions only has the armor option available at Exalted. The Champions of Azeroth Quartermaster is Magni Bronzebeard. He's located in Silithus. There's a portal available directly to his location in the portal room of your capital city. There's also a portal at his location that will port you directly back to your capital city. At Honored, he has his cloak available. At Revered, he has two pets, a drop of Azerite and a shard of Azerite. At Exalted, he has a cloth head, a leather chest, a male shoulders, a plate head, as well as his tabard. The other neutral faction is the Tortolans. Quartermaster Collector Kojo can be found in multiple locations near the Tortolan Quest Hubs and World Quest localities. Uh, his main locations are Scale Trader Post in Zoldazar or Seeker's Vista in Stormsong Valley. At Honored, he has his cloak, a scroll of combustible energies, a cooking recipe, which is the Bountiful Feast, two inscription contract recipes. At Revered, he has cloth boots, leather gloves, male waist, plate wrist, a pet, and multiple crafting recipes. At Exalted, he has cloth wrist, leather feet, male legs, plate waist, and his tabard. Now let's start with the Horde factions. The Zandalari Empire's quartermaster is Natal Hakata. He's located inside the Great Seal in Dazaralor. At Honored, he has his cloak, an inscription contract recipe, and an engineering goggle recipe. At Revered, he has cloth waist, leather wrists, male feet, plate legs, a toy, 
the Mage and Shaman Tomes for the Zandalari Talon Ripper for the Hex and Dire Horn for Polymorph and multiple crafting recipes. At Exalted, he has Cloth Legs, Leather Waist, Male Hands, Plate Wrists, the Faction Tabard, and a Mount, the Reins of the Cobalt Pterodact. Next up, we have Telanji's Expedition. Quartermaster is Provisional Lija, uh, located in Zoljon Ruins in Nazmir. Um, honored, you get the cloak. Also, inscription contract recipe and an engineer goggles recipe. At Revered, cloth legs, leather feet, male hands, plate hands, and a pet Trag the Curious, as well as multiple crafting recipes. At Exalted, you have cloth hands, leather legs, male waist, plate feet, the tabard, and the mount, the expedition blood swarmer. Next up is the Voldenai. Their quartermaster is Hoarder Jenna in Volpera Hideaway in Voldoon. At Honored, you have the cloak. Three toys, Akunda's Fire Sticks, the Desert Flute, and the Volpura Battle Banner. Inscription Contract Recipe, and the Engineering Goggles Recipe. At Revered, Cloth Hands, Leather Legs, Male Wrist, Plate Waist. Two toys, the Ghostly Explorer's Skull and Volpura Scrapper's Armor. A 30 slot bag, and multiple crafting recipes. At Exalted, Cloth waist, leather wrists, male feet, plate hands, the faction tabard, and the mount, the reins of the alabaster hyena. The Horde War Camping faction is the Honor Bound. The quartermaster is Ronza Greyfeather, located on the dock next to the Banshee's Well in the port of Zandalar. At Honor, you get the cloak an engineer goggles recipe, and scouting reports to advance your war campaign. At Revered, you get cloth wrist, leather waist, male legs, plate feet, uh, the pet, the little war machine, and multiple crafting recipes. At Exalted, you get cloth feet, leather hands, male wrist, plate legs, and the faction tabard. Now let's look at the Alliance factions. First up is the Proudmoor Admiralty. Their quartermaster is Provisioner Frey, located in the Harbor Master's office in Boralus Harbor. At Honored, they have the cloak, inscription contract recipe, and the engineering goggle recipe. At Revered, cloth waist, leather wrists, male feet, plate legs, a 30 slot bag, and multiple crafting recipes. At Exalted, cloth legs, leather waist, Male hands, plate wrists, the faction tabard, and the mount, the Admiralty Stallion. The next alliance faction is Order of Embers. Quartermaster Alcorn at Aram Stand in Dressfar. At Honored, you get the cloak, inscription contract recipe, engineer goggles recipe, and also the ghostly pet biscuit. At Revered, you get cloth legs, leather feet, male hands, plate hands, the shaman tone uh, wicker mongrel, the wearing spirit binding toy, the pristine falcon feather pet, and multiple crafting recipes. At Exalted, you get cloth hands, leather legs, male waist, plate feet, the tabard, and the mount, the smoky charger. Next up for Alliance is Storm's Wake. Their quartermaster is Sister Liliana in Brennadum, Stormsong Valley. At Honored, you have the cloak, inscription contract recipe, and the engineering goggles recipe. At Revered, cloth hands, leather legs, male wrist, plate waist, the toy, dead ringer, the mage tome of polymorph bumblebee, the pet, pair of bee wings, and multiple crafting recipes. At Exalted, 
cloth waist, leather wrist, male feet, plate hands, the faction tabard, and the mount reins of the dapple gray. And finally, we have the Alliance War Campaign faction, which is the 7th Legion. Quartermaster is Vindicator Jaylana on the dock next to Wind's Redemption, located in Borellis Harbor. At Honored, you get the cloak, Engineer Goggles recipe, and scouting reports to advance your war campaign. At Revered, you get cloth wrist, leather waist, male legs, plate feet, the pet Lil Siege Tower, and multiple crafting recipes. At Exalted, cloth feet, leather hands, male wrist, plate legs, and the faction tabard. And there you have it. That's just a brief overview and guide. We hope that you found it helpful um, and easy to understand. We hope that it helps you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, if you have any other questions, just feel free to comment below or yes, find us on one of our streams and we will absolutely do the best that we can to help answer. Uh, we're more knowledgeable about the board side of things, obviously, because that's yes. what we predominantly play, but we are trying to research and find out for Alliance as well. And if we don't know the answer right then, we'll find it for you. We can find it for you. We will do that work. and Yeah. It's out there. So we hope you enjoyed our first little guide. Hope we did okay. Uh, if this one goes well, hopefully maybe we can do some more. Yep. Um, so if you found it helpful at all, please share it. Maybe somebody else will find it helpful as well. Yep. Hit that subscribe button and the little bell. Um, feel, free, feel free to downvote it if you don't like it. Uh, we want feedback both sides. So. Yep. And until next time, everybody be cool to one another. Bye.